What's going on everyone? Cameron Blaze here, welcoming you to our week one battle for the AABL. I am the coach of the San Antonio Stalandits, and today we are taking on Shadow Goal Culture, the Detroit Red Gyarados, if I am not mistaken. Um, it's our week one matchup. Uh, he brings basically everything I thought he would. Um, Aerodactyl is just meh. I didn't really expect it, but it kind of happens. Um, I didn't have a team prep this week because if you can't tell, this video is like a week late. Um, and it happens. You can't do much about that. Uh, week two will probably uh, be up on Sunday. This will probably be up on Saturday, depending on when I battle for week two. Um, to go over our team real quick, we got our Mega Beedrill rocking U-turn, Poison Jab, Knock Off, and Brick Break. Um, max HP, Max Speed. I didn't really need to Speed Creep this week. Um, as I just wanted to play it safe, I didn't want to have him throw a random Scarfer and then outspeed me. Um, that would have been pretty, pretty bad if something stupid like that would have happened. Um, secondly, we have our... Um, hold on, let me find the team. We have our Royal, the Empoleon, hold on the Shuckaberry, max HP, 172 defense, 80 special attacks, bed crept with the Obama Snow and 8, so in case he puts 4 in speed to try to speed crease up us, um, with the, uh, Bold Nature, Surf, Flash Cannon, Grass, Not, Stealth Rocks, um, probably our, it's our guaranteed lead, it's also our check to the, um, Sand Slash, we have his Tapu, our Tapu Coco, the Chicken, with the Life Orb, um, Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, Grass Knot, HP Water, hits relatively everything super effectively. Um, it's a really good wall breaker in this matchup. Uh, up next we have Shofu, the Dormanitan, holding the Choice Band, Sheer Force, Jolly Nature with Flare Boats, Earthquake, Rock Slide, Superpower. Just punches through its team, well, especially if we can uh, weaken down that top of any. We just end the, uh, even Camera Up doesn't really want to take a Flare Blitz, but if it's Mega it does. Once the uh, Finny's down, this thing just blows through his entire team. And next we have Cyclone the Tornado, Starian, Life Orb, attacking. Um, 252 Special Attack, 252 Timid Speed with Hurricane, Sludge Wave, Grass Knot, Hidden Power Water. Um, I felt like the Hidden Power Water was more helpful than the Super Power. Even though I really wanted to bring Super Power, I couldn't for this week. And for last but last night, we have Spiky Crimber, the Dreadagon, holding the Assault Vest. Max AP, Max Attack, 4 Special Defense, Gunk Shot, Aquatel, Superpower, Sucker, Punch. Um, just, again, it's a pr it's a pretty good swap into Finny. Um, so we can live 2 Moonblasses. We can live base we can live anything that thing throws at us. And it's also an alright, it also completely walls the camera up. Earth Powers do not, and Fire Blasts don't do much to it. So, leads on his end, uh, camera up is not a terrible lead. Uh, I expected the... Tyranitar or Camera Up lead, so I'm going to lead my Apollyon in this situation just so I can definitely get my Star Rocks up or kill him depending on what the situation comes to be, and we're just going to hit play. So he's actually going to lead his Aerodactyl, which is 100% fine by me, as I can just click Surf and completely knock this thing out, or Scald, I can't remember what I said I had, it was one of those two, um, it was Surf, yeah, we click Surf and we just completely knock him out, but the issue here is he had Earthquake on his Aerodactyl and that popped our Shuckaberry. So that means Sand Slash it immediately becomes a problem. Now I'm not gonna say I wasn't expecting Earthquake on Aerodactyl. I was just gonna be like I was kind of I was expecting a Sash like lead with like Star Fox. And my like my objective was to break the Sash, have him like swap out and us get Star Fox up on that turn. Bias going for the surf, he might think we're offensive, such and such, but it happens, not much we can do there. But we do pick up a kill, which is nice. Um he's actually gonna swap to Obama Snow, and I kind of misplay here. Um, I wanted to get my Stealth Rocks up, and so I do that, but hindsight, I should have Flash Cannoned here, but I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks, as he has Earthquake on his Obama Snow Aw as well. And our Empoleon's going to go down, so that's not good at all. I'm going to go to Mega Beedrill, and I almost clicked Brick Break, but I'm going to go for the U-Turn, and I wish I did click Brick Break, because that would be a dead Alolan Sand Slash. So, the prediction wasn't there, um... I just didn't want to take a huge risk, and I'm going to swap to my Dreadagon, because we can live an Icicle Crash, and it's the only thing that can live an Adamant Life Orb hit at this point. As he's actually going to go for Protect, so that's 100% fine by me. It's just, it's not going to do much. Um, it's just a good move, whatever. We go for the Superpower. I'm going to Superpower again. Um, no need to overpredict, I felt, but I kind of wish I clicked Gunk Shot, Hindsight again. So we're going to get the Superpower off. Um, our tech Defense is going to drop. Um, gunk Shot will has a chance to Oko, it's a very slim, 
but we're gonna go for the gunk shot here as he goes for a moon blast we take it and the gunk shot doesn't come off he's gonna be dropped to two percent if hail damage but nope he is not icy rock sucker punch can kill here but we get the lower roll and i think yeah we just go down here so really unfortunate that um we're gonna die here that we just dropped there but we're gonna go to extra here we're gonna click u-turn or brick break brick break we could brick break i remember now um we're gonna get brick break do a good amount uh yeah you fancy us but i am going to u-turn out into okay we're gonna hit pause real quick so we u-turned out and so i'm predicting the earth power because if i go to torrent because he the obvious play is for him to click fire blast and i feel like he expects me to think that so I was like, oh, well, if I swap the Torrenty on his Earth Power, it's just like, I, I literally do, I, I win, I live it. I can live the Earth Power, I don't take any damage, and he's in a terrible situation, because Hurricane just blows through his team. Two, Sandslash cannot take two Hurricanes. Tyranitar doesn't really want to take a Hurricane plus a, I mean, it can take anything from this Torrenty, but we would have been able to swap out. So I'm like, he has to be clicking Fire Blast. He has to click Fire Blast. Because if I go to Torrenty here and he Earth Powers, he's screwed. It's a 50 50 in my mind. And I felt like it was more like he's going to click Earth. He, I felt like he was going to click Fire Blast, predicting my Torrenty. That's ex like that's what I said. He's going to click Fire Blast, predicting Torrenty, or the, the Tapu Koko. So I'm going to go to our Darmanitan so we can live the Fire Blast. But he does, in fact, click the Earth Power and we lose our wall breaker kind of sucks but don't know so i'm gonna go to our top of coco and just hp water kill this thing we get a crit does not matter we get um yeah we take a little life orb hit so he's gonna go to his obama snow i'm gonna click dazzling gleam and it's gonna do a good amount 41 percent and he is going to click earthquake and that i'm pretty sure mattered i do not think he could have killed us at that range and then he shows his leftovers, not assault vest, so it happens. So I can go to Beedrill here. Torrenty was probably the better spot because of the ice shard, but I don't think it would have done much. Brick Break's gonna come off and pick up the kill. It hits everything for super effective damage as Finny dies on entry. Um, but he goes to Sand Slash here. He's at 47%. He's gonna click. It's, that was a very risky play right there. If he would have missed that, we could have. We would have won 100%. We would have won. But we go to Cyclone here, we take the Icicle Crash because I learned he's not adamant right then there, which kind of makes me upset. Hurricane does connect and it does kill him, but we drop to life orb damage. So we do end up losing week 1, 2-0, two, oh, 2 Shadow Gold, good prep on him. Uh, go check him out, it was a very good uh, battle in my opinion. Um, we could have easily won that if we didn't like place dumb with the Darmanitan. Um, if we just like... There were some pivotal rolls in that crit on this Coco because we had one more hit with Coco, and I understand that he had Ice Shard, and it's just, uh, it just kind of like th uh, Coco. I because I said he had Ice Shard, and that's why I went to B Drill. And again, looking back, I should have gone to Torrenty because Ice Shard wouldn't have done much to me, and that's why I went to B Drill because the Ice Shard wouldn't have done super effective damage. We get the guaranteed kill, yada yada yada. But not much we can do. We lose one oh uh, we lose week one two oh. Not the worst situation we could have been in, not the best either, but it all happens. Um thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button down below. And let me know uh, question of the day, what is your favorite weather? On uh, mine is personally sand as the hail brings us down this week. But it happens. Um New stuff, didn't know how good the old, I knew this old one saying slash was good, that's why in my team prep I was like, well, I have to bring Empoleon, and it, Empoleon had a just big, it had to wall like two things, Stratagon had to wall two things, I didn't have enough bulk this week, and I just thought the offense was good, and it us in the butt, but like I said, hope you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, and I'm going to see you guys next time, bye!